Um, Wario? You find yourself on this one rotten day of the many rotten days that compose your life, sitting atop your throne of garlic and enjoying a little TV as you think about all the ways you could ruin lives today. What? <laughs> no! Wario, no! No! Don't laugh like that! No! No! Wario has always been a bit of a weird character. He first appeared in 1992 in the Game Boy game Super Mario Land 2, Six Golden Coins, as the main antagonist of that game, and has since appeared in his own games, namely the Wario Land series and WarioWare. I mean, you can count Game and Wario, but, but it's not the same. It's not WarioWare. Why did you do this, Nintendo? It's not good. He's always been kind of a joke character to Nintendo, but at least he's had his own games, which is more than I can say about our favorite purple-clad friend. But that doesn't mean there aren't a lot of crazy weird Wario fan games out there, and I aim to conquer them! Why? Why do I keep doing this to myself? Oh yeah, for the views. Now there's actually quite a few Wario fan games out there. They generally come in about two different forms. You got Wario Land fan games and minigame compilations based on WarioWare. So let's get started! When it comes to Wario Land fan games, the user WWWWario has the market pretty much cornered, creating a bunch of games for us to try out. Like this one, Super Wario and the Ghost Ship. I can't wait! So, the story begins at Wario's house. Wario receives a letter claiming that he should come to the sea for a bag of diamonds. Wait a second, a bag of gold and diamonds? You know what, this all seems pretty legit to me, so let's go, Wario! Let's go! The game plays pretty much like you'd expect a 2D Wario platformer to play. You can jump, you can do a charge attack thing, and you can... Uh... Loft. And my favorite button, the top button! <laughs> we eventually get to the sea, but of course, there's no treasure. But there is a boat! So it's time to set sail! Uh oh. Why is that spooky music playing? Oh my god! What is that? Is that the ghost ship? The ghost ship from the tile screen? Wario gets abducted by the ship, and now it's up to us to figure out the real question. What had really happened that night? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. So now we're playing a video game or whatever. I don't know. I mean, I must admit, the aesthetics here are off the charts. Look at this thing. Look at that thing. Uh, I mean, this is the first thing you see. A sun that is so big and so close. It's a wonder why Wario isn't just dead outright. My favorite part is when the music loops, but then the looping actually makes the game freeze. That is, that is very much the best when that happens. Oh, so, oh, so that's the first enemy? Yeah. What exactly are these things? What is this? This next one's called Super Wario in the Amulet of Time! Roll the intro! I could cry, but I won't. Whoa. So apparently this is actually a sequel to the previous Ghost Ship game, and the future games are sequels as well. Well, we got ourselves some catching up to do on this Wario lore, that's for sure. We're gonna need the cliff notes. The, the wa notes. No? After Wario escaped the Ghost Ship, he used all the gold he found on his way to buy a bigger house. Right now, someone is outside of Wario's door. He or she is calling on him from the outside. So the doorbell rings at Wario's and... Yeah. That looks about right. Yeah. He receives some sort of package. Yeah! That of course contains a shiny red amulet! That begins to glow. What? Hey! What's going on? Oh No! Then Wario was gone. Taken back in time one... Point zero 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 millions, or maybe many millions. 
Are, are we on the moon? We're on the moon now. Get over it. Yeah. Chapter one, the Big Bang. All right. Confirmed for moon. H have you ever wanted to be on moon as Wario? Well, now you can. Be Wario. Do thing. You can do all kinds of things like... <laughs> and... Uh. We all have the same question. What conditioner does Wario use? Because I want my hair to flow through the wind like his does. Ne never mind. Never mind. Uh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm a spring now. I'm a, I'm not sure exactly where I'm supposed to go. Are, are these supposed to be like Goombas? Like space Goombas. Oh, oh, snap, be quiet. It's another cutscene. Any second now, something will happen. Probably. Eh? A kind of cave? It's filled with rocks, and Mabby hides some treasures, too! Oh yes! Many treasure! The game's not half bad, but it is a cancelled game, so I did run into some problems. Like not being able to progress further. Also, the many broke. That happened. Uh, which is a, se a segue to me going to the next game now. Here we go. Super Wario in the hunt of the frozen treasure! It's gonna be good time! Alright, here we are at Wario's castle. I mean, he must have gotten some good money if he's got a castle now. First, ghosts? Then the moon? I think it's fair to assume that there's probably been some time traveling, back to the future-esque money-making scheme going on here. So it looks like Waluigi's been frozen somehow. Waluigi asks to be let out, which just makes Wario laugh at him. <laughs> and then he accidentally lets slip that there's been some sort of treasure involved. Uh. So he runs off to get the treasure without Waluigi. So again, we have to learn how the game plays and what we can do, including shoulder dashing with this sound effect. Give me, give me, give me, give me. That won't get old. So Wario makes his way up to the top of a frozen mountain where the treasure is said to be. There's no treasure, of course, but there is a Yeti. The Yeti does say that he's guarding a treasure, but won't give it up unless Wario gets all of his treasures and gives them back to him. I guess it's kind of like a test. So now we have to go through all the different levels and get all the treasures to get the, the other treasure. Makes sense. I... I guess? This one's actually a full game and it's not that bad either. You can really tell that WWW Wario is getting better at making these Wario games. Now for the uninitiated, Wario games tend to have a few mechanics that are pretty prevalent. Wario can shoulder bash things, booty bop things, or ground pound, whichever you prefer. Get some weird abilities, like floating, or being crushed. Usually the levels are themed in some way. And there are bosses. Hey. The mechanics don't usually shy too far from these elements, and this game pretty much has all of those things. Plus, it's fantastic. My favorite thing has to be the so-called treasures that you collect, and not just because of what happens when you get them. <laughs> what exactly is this pose? No, I think I like it most because of the treasures themselves. We did it, guys! We finally obtained the golden soda! Also, I like it whenever you pick a level, Wario does this. That's fun. After getting all the treasures, we unlock... The final world! The final boss is this weird Cyclops crystal thing, and it's not even that difficult. But what's that? It turns out it was the Yeti all along! What a twist! No one saw that coming. He reveals it was his plan to never give us the treasure all along, and that he was pretty much hoping to get rid of us by sending us on a useless quest. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better having played through the entire game. I is that a skull? I completely forgot. So now we have all the treasures, wah, sans wah, the wah. ultimate one. The, that's right, frozen treasure. The, the, the frozen, that, that's a Wiimote. 
Isn't it? Yeah. So Wario takes the frozen treasure and walks right past Waluigi. Get right, Waluigi! Ah. Oh, that's it? Oh. Wow, what a journey! <laughs> but I mean, I already have all these frozen treasures of my own. It's so hard to hold them all. Next game time, let's go. Super Wario Fortune! For oh, wait. Fortune? Wait, wait, Fortune? Fortune? Get it? <laughs> so Wario's part of the 1% now. Yeah. He's got money, a castle. What else could a man need? Wario the winner. That's right, a genie! So we rescue this... Guy? And we're off on another adventure! Man, there sure are a lot of these Wario games. This one is definitely the best of the games mechanically. You have updated models, the camera is zoomed out a bit more so you can see what's going on, and there's a lot more of a natural progression system with the levels. Plus, this thing is back! I like it! In this game, we're traveling up a tower one floor at a time, and in order to unlock the boss of each floor, you have to find the keys in each of the levels. It's actually not that bad. If you can look past the cheesy graphics, there's actually a pretty solid game here. Probably better than anything I could ever do. You hear that, WWW Wario? Never stop making games. Follow your dreams. I believe in you. My favorite element of the game is taken from later Wario Land titles. When you find the key, you have to start this race mechanic where the portal to the exit of the level opens and you have to frantically race to find your way to the portal before it closes. <laughs> It's fun! So let's take a look at some not w w wario games. And I know just the one. Wario and the Magic Map! Turns out, it wasn't the only time Wario found himself a genie! Man, he gets two genies in his hypothetical fan game universes and I don't even get one?! What a ripoff! So it turns out the genie is trapped by this other guy who rules the... Morgue Kingdom. So that's a thing. If we rescue her by collecting the pieces of the medallion scattered across, you guessed it, many themed worlds, we'll net ourselves a nice little wisheroo. Translation, game, play, go. As you can clearly tell, the graphics for this one are just... Superb. Mm, just eat it up. This is where you select where you want to go. The aesthetics here are off the charts. I, I just can't get over how Wario looks in this one. Just just look at that unflinching, permanent smile across Wario's face. Truly, he can't contain his excitement for that wish. I think one of my favorite parts of this game is whenever Wario gets a piece of that medallion, he also takes a small break to congratulate himself and strike a pose. I'm the superstar. I'm the superstar. The only real problem I have with the game is the progression. I got all the way to the end of the game without any real problems, but then I was gated out of the last level for not collecting enough treasure. So I ended up having to play the same level over and over again to get more treasure. Did you ever wonder what a Morgue King looks like? Well, there you go. There he is. He's the final boss. I mean, his mouth background looks like college rule paper. So we defeat the Morgue King, escape the magic map, rescue the genie, and was it all worth it? Yes, just for this face. That's a good face. And I guess the treasure too, that counts. Oh yeah, guess what time it is, everybody? It's a Wario time! Roll that intro! Did you get that? Did you get the whole story? Uh... Ne never mind. I don't wanna play this one! I don't wanna play this one! Now there's one more Wario Land-esque game that I wanted to talk about because it started off... Oh so promising. That game is Wario Land Cosmos! Probably the best looking and stylistic fan game I've ever seen. This game starts out super promising. It starts with Wario watching some TV flipping around news channels. He watches a report on the Mario Brothers adventures into space, referencing Mario Galaxy, but then says, quote, No one knows the many treasures that await us! Which gets the attention of our boy Wario. So off Wario drives to find Orbulon, you know the alien guy from WarioWare, who says that if we can find some suitable fuel, we'll go explore space to find treasure. 
Yeah! Like I said, stylistically, this game is unsurpassed for a fan game. The art, as far as I can tell, is not ripped from anything. Unless I'm mistaken, I think this is actually custom pixel art made for this fan game. And honestly, it's pretty amazing. Wario can do most of his trademark abilities like shoulder bashing, booty bopping, and the like. And this time, he can pick up and throw enemies as well. At first, the only problem I had with the game was the controls. You have to press up to jump with the arrow key, which is already a problem when you're constantly having to do precision platforming and even use the up key to do other things like go up ladders. But then add to the fact that you have to use the mouse for everything else, and it makes the game super awkward to control. I even ran into an area super early in the game that was just incredibly rage-inducing because for the life of me, I could not figure out where to go. So I quit! It's kind of a shame, but I would probably play any of the previous games over this one, purely because the controls are so much more refined. Now there are some games out there that I probably wouldn't classify as Wario Land games. But I'm not sure what to call them. Mario plus Wario! It sucks. Don't let that cheerful music fool you, this game is SATANIC! Probably? Well, it's actually just... Uh, annoying. You start as Mario, but it wasn't very clear that you could switch between Mario and Wario on the fly. But to even switch back and forth, you have to press the W and M keys. Not exactly close to each other. You're forced to switch between the two characters because it activates different platforms that you can use. But enemy placements are pretty unforgiving, mixed with the fact that Wario is super fat and can barely jump. This, this is, this is platforming? So I quit! Super Wario World! Wow, a Super Wario World? Oh man, that's like my favorite game, Super Mario World! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is, uh, okay, I guess. I mean, you can't really say it's much of a world when there's only two levels. When you finally complete the second level, it just abruptly ends! Wario Land X! A game so well programmed that the enemies walk off the side of the map and, and also get stuck on things while having a seizure. Those are my favorite features. The controls in this one are really floaty and annoying, and if you make a single mistake, it's all the way back to the beginning. I hate games like this. Oftentimes, enemies are placed in areas where you couldn't possibly know they were going to be there, setting up for some really cheap deaths. But not only that, I think this may be the only Mario-related game ever where jumping on enemies does not actually kill them. What? The only redeeming quality of this game is the boss guy, a rendition of the Super Mario Bros. 3 boss guy that's in every castle, but more exaggerated. There's one other type of game that I found pretty frequently, and I'd like to call those ones... Now, if you're new to Wario games and have never played a WarioWare game before, I highly recommend it. They're usually really random, silly, quick game compilations that are addictive and fun, and they always seem to have crazy and unique art styles. But seeing as this video is already getting a bit long, let's do this WarioWare style. Wario's Gold Rush is Pac-Man, but with Wario! Watch out for those freaking Yoshis and check out this music! Yeah. Wario Bros! That's definitely Mario Bros, but with Wario! Wario Land 30 Golden Bombs! Wario Wear Minigame mixed with platforming bits! It's awesome! Wario Stroll! It's basically an app game where you click on stuff! Super Wario Jump! It's basically an app game where you jump over stuff! Super Wario Bros! <laughs> What is this game? WarioWare Mouseworks is hands down the best but shortest WarioWare fan game ever made! <sighs> are we, uh... Are we done? Man, it almost seemed like there wasn't gonna be an end! <laughs> Not the Wario dating sim again! Yes, now grab my sides and straddle my hog. That's enough video games for... for forever. Hey guys, thank you so much for
for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these types of videos and you want to see more of the fan game type stuff, then be sure to like the video so I know to make more. If you want to see videos right as they come out, then be sure to click that little notification bell and turn on notifications for this channel. Follow me on Twitter for updates and more. And if you just can't wait for more videos, I got two more videos for you right there. Waluigi games and creepy Mario games. Oh no! I'm out. Okay, bye.